hardly hear the engine. Well, that's a little bit better with the sport exhaust, but nevertheless, ooh, cannot really hear the engine, can I? Can I? No. Not us in the 3.6 liter anyway. Adding turbo after the brand Porsche means money, not for you as an owner, but for Porsche. The brand Turbo is so unique and at high value for Porsche, they couldn't even remove it from the electric vehicles. But the Turbo comes with a lot of obligation towards the owners. It needs to be emotional and obviously fast. that in the compact SUV segment, it is quite difficult to find an equally funny and comfortable ride. Again, the turbo turns, especially on the four doors car, more focused towards the engine rather than the ride. And the downsizing from 3.6 liters to 2.9, oh, it kind of loses its character. Let me try to explain. If you, for an example, had the previous Gen 1 turbo with the power pack, you will actually have 50 Nm more torque in the 3.6 liter engine. And if you purchase a used 3.6 liter, well, you will actually have some money on the bank spending on petrol. Because if I compare the consumption of the previous Macan Turbo Power Pack with this engine, well, the differences are extremely small. Well, the previous generation turbo engine outperformed the new existing 2.9 liter. But remember, there are some differences between the facelifted and non facelifted version. Solid dynamic engine mounts and an updated interior perhaps compensate for the lack of engine character. The chassis on the facelifted version is re-engineered, not perhaps in the geometry, but especially with the selection of material. Adding aluminium saves 1.5 kilo in the unsprung weight, and that is actually that you feel difference between the cars. But then again, <sighs> turbo is all about the engine. As the tradition offers, the turbo models comes with its unique design front. So one thing is the front positioning lights that are double double line, just like the 991.2 turbo was. And the redesign of the front should make the car look more wider. It has nothing to do as far as I'm in for in terms of the aerodynamics. It still had these huge holes getting you know, the air flow through the water radiator to cool the car down. Porsche Dynamic Light System is standard on the Macan Turbo, but I have two things to say about that. The standard lights on the Macan are mostly, or I th actually I think they are 100% copied from the 918 Spider, and that heritage kind of have a higher att attraction rate rather than the PDLS, even though this one has this Ninja look of it. Second of all, I have done two night tests with these lights and I don't think they reach the same high level of capacity as the Cayenne and Panamera do. Second generation Macan Turbo and yes, I understand the need for downsizing. In the perfect world, Porsche should have kept the first generation engine. That would have been the perfect Macan because behind my frustration on details, there is a hidden diamond that makes the first generation Macan falling behind the drivability. Ah, it's no you know, the handling of the Macan is uh, spectacular. You have that 
great dimension between comfort and sportiness. It's so balanced and it's so easy to connect with. Okay, it's not like a sports car, like a 911 or even better, a 718, but never again. It's so nice. And with the Sport Plus mode, the PDK gearbox are, are, you know, tuned a bit more, throwing in that gear, feeling the thrust. Oof, it is, I mean, it is 440 horsepower, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, go back 10 years and that will be supercar performance. And now I'm in a family station bag and having a blast on the B-roads. That's, that's where we are, 2020. There we have it. Mm. Woo. And, you know, I just put a smile on my face because I'm approaching a corner. I do that light braiding, turn into the car. Ooh, and you accelerate and then boom, my front the corner braking through down the gear into that and then throttle on again. You know, this is, this is true pleasure, ladies and gentlemen. This is why I drive Porsche, not because it's an exclusive brand, because it gives you joy when you drive. <sighs> Love it. Thank you, Porsche, for giving us these driver's tubes. If you buy a Skoda, you get a cradle for your phone with inductive charging. Well, if you buy, for an example, a Macan Turbo for 90,000 euro, you have to pay $600 extra to get your phone charged. And when you are connected to the PCM system, well, you don't get top-notch quality there either. But remember, the infotainment in a Porsche is behind the steering wheel. Bose sound system is standard. And remember what I have always said, on the four doors Porsche, that's, you know, a must-have option, but on the sports car, just waste of money. Someone at Porsche needs to explain to me why the PTV, Porsche Torque Vectoring, is not standard on such a car as the Macan Turbo. It should be. I've also done some thinking about the Manatino switch or whatever you would like to call this uh, drive mode selections that we had. With PDK gearbox, I find myself on all Porsche models driving on normal mode or Sport Plus. The Sport mode I occasionally want to have when I have a manual gearbox and just want that rev matching blip functionality. Too many options. The sport response button though is quite nice when I just want to pass a car, do a quick acceleration. And by the way, did you know that you could push it again to switch it off if the 30 seconds that it provides is too much and you want to switch it off? When I meet second generation Macan owners, I love to tell them about the braking system. It's rebuilt on the facelifted models of the Macan and it ended up with composite materials on the brake pedal. And when I show them that it is actual carbon fiber inside the vehicle, they always meet me with a big smile. And if you actually compare the braking between the facelift and the non-facelift version, you will actually feel a difference, more, more connection to the roads with the facelift version. Also, the turbo comes with 18 ways uh, sport seats. But to be honest, I think the standard seats are properly made and I think they are superb. Porsche Macan is the volume car for Porsche, adding the turbo badge and you get on the top of the range. Would I bought it? Well, looking at the list price, I'd rather select the GTS model. I think that's more value for the money. But depending on your discount, perhaps this could be a wiser choice. If it was my proper earned money, I would look at a used first generation Macan Turbo with performance package. Hello, I'm back. Thank you for the music. Bum, 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 ba -da. Ooh, I'm actually done filming, but I realized I haven't, can I do that here? I just realized I haven't done a launch control with this car. Where am I? Sorry guys, I'm just looking back and forth. Oh, I need to do a 
launch control, definitely a launch control. Sorry, this is uh, was not planned. Ah, oh, come on! Ah, oh. sorry, wasn't impressive. You know, you see, that's the problem, right? I drive too many supercars, as I would like to call them. Too good cars. It needs, you know, if. If, if this was the first time I was in a Porsche, I would most likely crack my pants. But that was, that was a Monday drive in a Porsche. Yep. I mean, if you are visiting Sweden, Sweden, take that rental car, hit that GPS and exclude highways. And then you're, I'm telling you, that's where you're gonna experience Sweden. Not on the highways anyway. These roads are so nice to just, you know, glance. You know, don't push it, just glance. Just glance. 